So, if you guys remember, I did a Marvel Heroes Omega video a little while back, okay? And here's some of the news regarding that. So, we, it's been a while since I've been on this server, and, and they, you know, they even gave me a shout-out, bless them. But we're going to go through exactly all the updates that they've kind of done uh, and everything else, which you can find on their Discord server. Link to that will be in the description down below. Uh, so you can join in, play the game yourself, and all that wonderful stuff as well. So it's getting pretty crowded in here. You can see the results in the uh, Avengi's Tower. Life uh, finds a way. Let me, let, so we click on that, we'll watch it. Playing as, uh, as Red Dino. Devil Dino. Or it's just a dinosaur, to be fair. Maybe I'm just being a bit over the top. Jesus Christ. There's a lot of stompies. But yeah, it's uh, it's just pretty cool. It's pretty cool stuff. Um, obviously, a lot of people want this game to be completely done. You know, everything's ready and stuff. That's going to take a long time. <laughs> uh, added the church area. Um, little party room, which is pretty cute. Playing as Iron Man in that situation. Uh, looks like we still have some unfinished business in Madripoor, which, you know, is pretty cool as well, seeing a, seeing a bit of Madripoor, um, you know, the um, nice chilly biome, alright, listen, so I haven't actually played this game before, right, so I haven't actually had a chance to see what these places actually are, so if you're thinking, whoa, what do you mean, that's not just a chilly biome, I apologise, do you know what I mean, um, I don't really have news to share, but I have this high quality gameplay, um, let's, let's watch some of that. So it's literally just kicking a bin. All right, which is impressive to be fair getting those physics absolutely down Do you know what I mean? Because that's probably not easy in fairness unless it was already like that and it was just you know You just just feel right <laughs> It's just fine. You know, I um if you hear any news in the background by the way It's because everyone is doing dinner at this time because people pick very strange times um, people think making a server emulator for a dead game is a walk in the park. Well, occasionally that's literally what it is. As you can see, park area, very nice, very beautiful stuff. Uh, this is getting out of hand now. There are two of them. Uh, NPCs have been added to Xavier's school and Odin's palace. A few extra Avengers tower NPCs have also been restored. The reason, by the way, that I'm not just showing this picture by picture is because I think it's really important to show, like, the progression. Because otherwise, it's just sort of like, you know, it, it feels good to finally be able to hit something. So the, this is one of the bigger ones. This is a huge update because obviously now, as you can see, there is a bit of combat involved. You can do some shenanigans attacking the training dummies. Uh, which is which is really cool. I mean, you know, it's about time, right? Like people want that stuff all the time. We had talked to you about the Avengers Initiative. Of course, Nick Fury's right there now. Uh, we've got the Danger Room. It looks like, and what's this one? I don't know where that is, but that's you know, destructive area. <laughs> um, here's my here's my me channeling my inner Tony Stark. Crypto's not doing anything yet. Oh, never mind. It's uh, basically, yeah, they got the marketplace. They got the marketplace down. Obviously, it doesn't really matter because, you know, the currency doesn't exist because they don't need the currency. But you just purchase them like it's nothing, which is really cool, to be fair. I'll, I mean, if this is what it was like in the original game, I mean, you know, fair enough. I'd love to know what the, um, the, mar the marketplace was actually like back then, you know. Uh, I've ported a networking implementation from a Diablo 3 server emulator. This should be more robust than the taped together temporary solution we used to have, especially for hosting remotely and for more than one player. There should be no visible differences, but this is a big change there. We handle network traffic, so let me know if there's any weirdness connection problems after my latest commit. Uh, what's this? Is this some kind of MMO? What are we? Some kind of MMO squad? Sorry, that was that was awful. Um, but yeah, there you go. So uh, you can have a gander at that. Uh, it looks very, it looks very professional. It looks very cool. Uh, talking to yourself is normal when you're testing your server, right? Obviously, the idea is to log in at the same time, right? If you enable the account system, it's now possible to edit player data per account. You can use the following commands: create name, uh, player name, avatar, region, and your costumes. You can change your costume pretty much. Is, uh, is the idea of that. To enable costumes, you need to set bypass auth in config.ini to false. Uh, what's this one? And we'll have to see what's going on. Oh, you can buy magic, which is really cool. 
So I'm going to assume that this is going to make it easier to switch characters. Yeah, there you go. So there you go. So even now switching characters is a, a complete walk in the park, right? So we're going to see another example of that with Wolverine right now. Uh, one second. There you go. It's craziness. Honestly, it's, it's it really is magic. It really is because I think it's so impressive. I think it is so impressive. I like that as well. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. No more mutants. Scarlet Witch. Bit of Scarlet Witch action. I'm guessing I'm guessing the idea is to show off all the clothing. There you go. Golly. Attractive woman. Especially that one, man. Holy. Anyway. <laughs> um I think I, I don't think I can afford that. Okay, so Symbiote Spider-Man, of course, popping off. <laughs> what I like about what I liked about Marvel Heroes, from what I can see, is that like Spider Gwen and Mayday are costumes for like Peter Parker Spider-Man. I think that's really cool. Um, I don't know if my, I mean, I'm assuming Miles is here, but he'd be like his own Spider-Man. I I would guess. I don't know. Uh, for a fantastic opportunity, so obviously you got all the Fantastic Four here as well, which is absolutely dope for people that want to uh go a bit crazy on the fantastic four which you know again man like you know the this thing isn't easy so you know for people that just sort of say no i want it done now you know it, does, it just doesn't work like that unfortunately starter avatars are now unlocked i, I don't necessarily know what that means but here's here's a bit more gameplay with uh with emma frost I'm assuming that's Emma Frost. Don't hate me, man. Like I said, like, you know, it, and, and I haven't slept. <laughs> also, the powers window should now show powers without having to change spec tabs, which is sweet. This is what the game is going to eventually turn into if you leave me in charge. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Also, it works with HTML. Should I buy this? Seems like a decent deal to me. Obviously, you've got, the, you've got this situation now. I like it, to be fair. This one, without Wolverine and Symbiote Spider-Man, reminds me of Marvel's Avengers for some reason, which isn't great. Uh, we've got the item base, even the model viewer works, which I, I love that. love some of that. So let's have a look at this. We've got that beautiful homepage. You know the one with it, like the heroes are kind of, Oh, man, I love that stuff. But, oh, oh, that's, uh, <laughs> that's something. <laughs> <laughs> These dummies uh, have too much HP. Their bars don't seem to move at all. So obviously, we, this is this is obviously Storm going crazy on the dummies. A bit of combat. Things are starting to get pretty dupey. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Sorry, there haven't been too many exciting updates lately. We're working on some back end stuff that's not really visible in game, but it's going to be important in the long run. One side effect of it all is that now we can edit friend list data. If you update and log in now, you'll see some people show up, which is cute because, you know, it's nice to have some friends in it at the end of the day. Shipping Yard and Midtown's less popular sibling, Industry City Patrol, are now available for exploration. Uh, you can now use a lookup command in game without things breaking when you get too many matches. Very nice. But wait, there's more. It's also now possible to look up regions. I wonder what that could be useful for. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Smash time in Hollow Sim. Hulk joined by friends. Hulk happy. You can throw cars now and go crazy on the vehicles. I like that, man. Hulk, I, I'll be honest, as much as I'm obviously a big Spider-Man fan, I feel like if I was playing the game back then, I think I would have gone really hard on the Hulk. That sounds a bit weird, but you know what I mean. Uh, Go try to finally got his ride back. That's exactly what it means. The motorbike. There you go, man. And you can drift as well. I actually didn't know that. That's nuts. Man, traversal kind of crazy, you know. And Magneto has been fixed. I don't know what that means. Uh, I've not been too updated on that. But either way, there's Magneto. I'm going to assume he's going to go crazy on the cars. Wait for it. There you go. Yeah, that's that's nuts. I love that. That's cool. So there you go. So we've got some Magneto action. We're almost sort of towards the end. Um, I, I hope that you guys are sort of enjoying this so far. You can now switch heroes without relogging. So obviously before I had shown you guys that there was a whole process of logging out the game and jumping back on. And since then it's been updated, right? So that's my point is that, you know, this these things take time, but they are they are happening. You know, there is there is a lot of uh, there's a lot of work being put into into this. Also, in-game hero and costume switch are now fully enabled. Very nice. You can now turn on Emma's diamond form by using diamond heart power. So there you go. 
So it's even little things like that, you know, like it, it's, it's, you know, it, it's clear that, you know, even the smaller things are going to take some time. So, because, I mean, it's not starting completely from scratch, but, you know, it's it's close. You're not you when you're hungry. I'm guessing this is the, yeah, yeah, the, the limbo demon form. Very nice. I still would, though. <laughs> Joking. Um, and then uh, the Emily now has... So this is all fancy stuff, right? So I don't understand any of this stuff. But if you guys understand this stuff, then that's good, because I don't. All right. Greetings, son of cool. We have fixed a bug that caused mission-related NPCs to break the clients when you talk to them. So you might be seeing some more familiar faces pop up from now on. Spider-Man's a menace. Just so There you go, Daily Bugle. Oh, that's cool. Say hello to the first iteration of Bifrost, our custom launcher for Marvel Heroes. Currently it features, which is which is sick. So I'm going to um, leave this link in the description. All right, just so you can click on it and everything else. So if that is just a simple launch, well, not simple, but if it's just a launcher, then obviously it'll make it easier for you guys to actually hop in, right? So again, very fancy stuff, but this one's sort of more of like a teleportation situation. All right, so if you want to go and sort of look for in the other areas, you can definitely do that. Emotes are now available, so you can do you can do some emotes, which is cute. Um, obviously, here's here's the full like selection of them that you can uh, that you can do. Again, I definitely recommend, regardless of me going through them all, that you should one hundred percent still go on this server, right? Because otherwise, it's just it's going to be difficult in it to just watch this video every time you want to uh, see the emotes. But here's a look at some of the emotes. I think this one's dance. I love it. Iron Man does the robot. I suppose it makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> um, and then we've got we've got a bit more. So we've got got this bit. Hold on, let's let's have a gander at that. Update time. We've been working mostly on back end changes. So there hasn't been too many flashy updates lately. However, we're making steady progress towards putting all the game data together, which is going to allow us to eventually work on rebuilding game systems properly. In parallel, we've been doing some experience with gameplay related stuff. And one side of that is that the March to access terminal is now partially explorable. Uh, quick correction to the previous post. Actually, the entire March to access terminal is now explorable as well as dimensions collide. So, if you guys are fans, you guys know what that means. Ranch Report Sewers open now too. Watch out for pizza loving mutant ninjas. That would have been really cute, obviously. But Chapter 4 regions are now available for exploration. With this update, loading times are going to be longer because now the game actually waits for everything to be loaded before removing the loading screen. This can be better in the future once we implement streaming the region as you move around instead of front loading everything. So, obviously, things are going to progress and get even better. Um, and then uh, Crypto made a blog. So, it's a very interesting blog. Um, I'll link this in the description as well, uh, because it's, you know, it's a very, uh, it's a very sort of fancy dancy, wordy, techie developer thing that I will never understand. But if you guys are interested in that, then absolutely jump in on it. So there you go. So that's all for today, folks. I will see you all in a bit for a few months down the road when I give you more updates.